Uh, this video is going to be a little different in the sense I'm going to share with you a perspective as a 40, 45 year old guy, 44, 44, 45. And uh, you know, I've tried to get back into gaming, into PC games, computer games and and switch and all that and from before I used to play these mobile phone games you know every 30 minutes you just do little move like Be Joeled or Candy Crush or uh, Plants vs Zombies from those simple games which don't require much thinking I've gone back into PC games which are like big and heavy and now keep in mind I have uh, taken a break almost of 20 years I think 20, 25 years I've not played and so I'm getting back into the groove playing Doom I played Doom oh you wish fuck it was so embarrassing the first time I played Doom you know I'm so used to you hold a gun the guy's here you shoot you turn here you walk front no there's no you shoot so it's easy but today the games are more like you're jumping, they are jumping and he jumps up and you have to shoot up and you're flying up and you have to shoot down and you have to shoot side and you have to grab on something and shoot something. So it, it involves a lot of skill. You have to be really, uh, you really have to be, uh, I, I don't know the right word, ambidextrous or your left and right coordination has to be smart. Your ability to think has to be really good. You have to have second nature with your fingers, you have to be nimble. I mean, the amount of skill that is required to be a gamer. Um, today, even though I've been a gamer, I was a gamer before, like Unreal Tournament and I never focused on movement. I would just shoot, 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 shoot fast. Today, you really appreciate the complexity of these games. They show facial features. You know, you know, my friends keep talking about Red Dead Redemption and uh, what is that? Uh, Witcher 3. I've not yet gone to playing them. And it seems it's an open world. You can go everywhere and it never ends. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. Just keep going, going, going. I don't know how do you play a game where you keep going, going, going. You can get lost, right? No. I've not played them. But they are telling me, Law, you must play them. Well, one of my friends uh, on WhatsApp. I don't know him personally. His name is Yash. Uh, he has told me, Loy, you know this Red Dead Redemption character. Uh, I once took him for fishing. I said, okay, you took that guy for fishing. So you caught a fish? He's saying, no man, for four hours we're just sitting and fishing. I was like, what? For four hours you are just sitting and fishing. That was not real fishing. You're taking a character of a game, a virtual character, and taking him to a, a pond or a place where he can fish. That is also not real. And he's fishing there. And you do that for four hours. I asked him, you, you know, the guy is not a nut job. He's a, he's a very intelligent guy. I said, what the fuck did you do for four hours? No man, it just, it made me so calm and peaceful. <laughs> I was like, fucking hell, I, I don't know what you, you know, in my head it was like, I don't know what this guy is smoking, but this is something mental. Like, how the fuck do you fish for four hours? Then one other guy was telling me, shit, when you, when you ride your horse, you have to take care of your horse. I said, what horse? No, the horse in the game. You have to take care of your horse. <laughs> so, like, you know, I come from a era where if let's say your horse is injured, you just take one uh, first aid, you know, it's kept on the ground and the horse is healthy. Now this one, it seems you have to take care of the horse, feed the horse, give the horse something. I was like, fuck, you know, these games are crazy. So what I'm trying to tell you is games have changed so much. For me, it's a fucking shock. It's like, whoa, bloody hell, man. Now, currently I'm playing this game, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, for those of you who don't know, is like a war game. 
it's like you know you have a gun and shoot and all obviously it's not a like a real thing but it's kind of more or less a real thing. so i've taken the easiest easiest uh setting because you know i'm playing a game to relax i'm not playing a game to have a headache so i took a easy i think recruit or average or normal now i am used to playing a game where you take the gun the guy comes you shoot him he comes you shoot him and he shoots you and then you get a little injured but you kill him and then you take something uh, you know the first aid kit and you're okay and energy and you're fine and you go front you it's like a wolfenstein 3d you you you're a berserker like you go everywhere you shoot your grandmother you shoot your dog you shoot the tree you shoot everything so i it's i i like these senseless games where you just went out all your frustration <laughs> but this call of duty this war game you can't do that and how did i realize initially when these guys were shooting i was like ah rambo yeah i went with the guy i was shooting everything within uh, what suddenly i get uh, you know the screen goes red and i'm breathing away ha oh, oh, ha someone is shooting me i'm like what the fuck and i die i'm like huh how the fuck did i die i'm supposed to you know be this soldier i was like bastard i'll try again so i tried again same thing happened again third time fourth time fifth time finally i got so fucking frustrated after 10 or 12 tries they like fuck this game this game is shit and i was like pissed off and i went back to my work <laughs> but you know i'm i'm a guy who is very persistent i if something is not proper i i i don't want to give up so i was like no i'll try this game again okay so this time i was like okay this running like rambo doesn't work fine so now what i'll do is i'll wait for these idiots to go front you know you have some side soldiers so captain whatever his name is so when he went i followed him when he went a little further i followed him when he was crouching down i was crouching down so then when he said okay attack and So I was like, okay, yeah. Then I went uh, front and again shot dead. I was like, bastard. Yeah, I followed him. Then I got so pissed off. I wrote to the group, well, oh, this is fucked up and this. Is. I said, man, you need to like a real war. You need to hide behind, you know, stuff and shoot one at a time. Like ah, this is all shit. So again, I went back to my work. After some time, when I cooled down, I was like, okay. I'll try again. This time I'll do a little bit of stealth. I'll hide behind some stuff, uh, you know, big cars and this and that. And so again, I tried the same thing. Captain went front, and then I saw I, I shot one guy and hid. I shot another guy and I hid. So I was feeling good about the game. And then I went front and I hid behind a car and I was shooting. And suddenly I died. I was like, what the fuck happened now? It seems the car exploded. You should not hide behind cars. You should hide behind some solid walls, Allah. Passed it. So, <laughs> oh fuck! It was so frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. You know, overall, as I kept playing this game, there were so many times. Like sometimes you should not go and attack because there are too many soldiers. You should just remain calm and wait for them to go. Sometimes it's like, uh, be patient. Don't be in a hurry. Like. it might take 30 minutes for you to keep shooting little and stop little and stop grab a gun and then sometimes they throw a grenade run to the opposite direction sometimes you have to retreat and go back to another place you know the learning that has been there see why am i sharing this with you it's like unlearning all the things that i thought i knew about gaming it's completely unlearning and it's relearning something new in fact when i talk to these guys there's one guy callahan there's one guy aman there is my friend jacob all these guys they talk about these games and they talk about a world and you know like my friend jacob he talks about this game called dishonored it's like so incredible he i don't know why the fuck he is my age more or less but he keeps praising this game oh there are multiple endings and sometimes uh your not supposed to kill i was like how the fuck do you play a fighting game without killing no you have to use your common sense and decide should i kill this guy or no 
because if you kill then you are making it tougher for you because now they are aware more people are dead so I said you don't kill they said no I let them live so you know for a person who if you remain adamant about what you know no things used to work this way in the olden days you can't progress and at every step of the way you know there's so many times i wanted to give up this game call of duty like fuck this game man i was so many times so many times i was like you know the soldiers are so fucking far they're so tiny and you're trying to shoot and you don't know who the fuck you're shooting I'm like what the fuck is this what they are so fucking far if i could see him at least i'd get the pleasure of shooting him but then you know when you sit and think yeah, it's a fucking war game you can't see the guy because he's far in a war also he'll be far so you have to skillfully try to go behind him or at the side or there's another game like a sniper where you can see people and even a sniper game that i shared the video if there's a sniper up here sniper there sniper here four snipers here you shoot the guy who's down the guy at the top will notice so to shoot him first and then before that you have to shoot the guy who's alone you know so there's a sequence method to the madness no so why am i sharing this it it's it's not to tell you okay listen you start gaming or become a gamer but rather to tell you that you know if you if you want to survive today's world no it's very easy to discount someone and, oh he is young he doesn't know he is you know like when we were young where the fuck was a computer man forget computer where was the internet where was google.com in fact this ipod ipad iphone all started what 10 15 years ago and today even even my my 2 year old kid has a fucking ipad what the fuck yeah so it's for me it's a process of self discovery and relearning and yes i do get frustrated i get pissed off <laughs> but it's like uh, the 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 part where i'm relearning and where i can see the progress agreed it's a very easy level you feel good you will not believe i i stuck with this call of duty part 4 i think for uh, i think one one week 10 days or something and uh, i progressed like i think 45 minutes into the game it's total the game is 3 and a half hours i just want to play the one this thing and finish the game you know and know that okay i was able to finish the game you know and then you feel wow i've learned a new skill you know it's not just you learn new skills only in uh, work or only in uh, you know related to money sometimes i think you need to learn new skills in other facets of your life you know whether it is um, you know whether it is um, being a father whether it's being a lover whether it's learning how to use new software or maybe playing a game <laughs> for me the process of self discovery has been crazy man ah been so crazy i'll tell you <laughs> every day i'm learning something you know it's so funny uh, when i think about it i remember in my 20s as look at old people like 40 and say eh is an old man is buddha you know uncle what he knows this uncle doesn't know anything today i am become an uncle that age you know when we were in a college we used to look at people who are 20 30 no 30 and 40 and say oh he is uncle today i have reached that age i i don't feel like i am an uncle still have girls and this and that no girls man i have a wife finish no more girls but uh, it it keeps you grounded as to how fast the world is changing how fast technology is changing 
and uh, just the very experience of gaming what it has taught me you know so funny i'm still going to continue i'll finish this and uh, i don't know slowly step by step getting into all these other games like uh, i definitely want to check out what is witcher 3 and red dead redemption and this open world and grand theft auto and so many games are there well, don't know if in this lifetime i can finish all of them even dishonored i've heard so much about it so let's see man let's see but yeah, i just thought i'd share this with you this it's been a little crazy ride <laughs> so funny i was so used to playing candy crush it was so easier but this one really takes your brains man really you have to use a little bit of this and i like the challenge so anyway this is what i wanted to share with you guys you guys let me know your thoughts okay me signing off you guys take care